such as microfluidics, biosensors, nanoscale separations. His primary responsibilities at Oregon, are at Oregon State, and in fact, he has additional primary responsibilities at Oregon State of late. He has uh, worked as a principal investigator with Trillium Fiber Fuels, uh, and also in collaboration with the Oregon Nanoscience and Microtechnologies Institute. Uh, many of us know that as ONAMI, up on the HP campus, on uh, subjects such as advanced isomerization systems. Uh, Vince, you should also know, uh, was recently honored by being selected as our new interim dean for the School of Science, or the, excuse me, the College of Science at Oregon State. Five years in business development. He has 18 issued and numerous pending patents in MEMS, Microelectromechanical Systems, did I get that right? Uh, inkjet, fuel cells. He founded and managed Eco Press, which was later acquired by a larger press. He's the president of Trillium Fiber Fuels and a member of the board of directors. Please welcome Chris Beatty as well. So there are two important things to look at when, you, when you're considering a biofuels approach, and they're, they're both about sustainability. The first is financial sustainability. And a part of this is pretty straightforward, right? You think about your ability to afford a fuel. So financial uh, sustainability with, uh, with respect to your own pocketbook. But there are other aspects of it, too. There's a more uh, national piece of it, and looking at legislation around uh, the federal government investing in things like research, the federal government investing in uh, subsidies that would allow producers to continue to, to manufacture ethanol and make it uh, cost-effective for them. 